It was last November when Jon Stewart promised on his show he would come here and answer my questions. After months of evasion, disconnected phone numbers, and press agents saying, who are you again? It appears he finally ran out of excuses, and so Jon Stewart, welcome to Fox News Sunday. Thank you so much, Chris. I, I really I appreciate it. I just want to say as a viewer, I can't tell you how disappointed I am that you would sully a program of this integrity, of this quality, with a presence uh, such as John Stewart. Now, I thought I'm getting checked out the mugs. Yeah, they're very nice. They're Do you very see what it says on the inside of the mugs? Uh, can I read it out loud? It's somewhat anti-Semitic. I don't. Do you want me to read it? <laughs> fair and fair and balanced. balanced. Yes. Yeah. I like how about, how about we toast and we both take a big drink out of our mugs? I mean, you know, it's interesting that the mug itself. No, 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 is, drink, drink, oh, no, no talking, just drink it, drink the water. Why do you want me to drink just, it? Just please. But it's just interesting that you want me to drink it. Why don't you have a taste of this first? I'm drinking it myself. Yeah, but we could have different waters. Well, this is not, I've seen this you in would this be scared of this. All right. Now, sir. There you go. Well, and while you're drinking, you love to take shots at Fox News. Yes, I do. Over the years, you have called us. We're going to put this on the screen because this is Please. heavy stuff. A biased organization mm -hmm. relentlessly promoting an ideological agenda under the rubric of being a news organization. Rubric. And, yeah, I actually, actually I think it was slightly the wrong use right. of the word rubric. Was it really? a, a relentless, agenda-driven, 24-hour news opinion propaganda delivery system. Yeah. Where do you come up with this stuff? Uh, it's actually quite easy when you feel it. You gotta feel it in your soul, you know. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Are you willing to say yeah. the same thing about the mainstream media, about ABC, CBS, NBC, Washington Post, New York Times? Would you no. say the same thing about them that they are in your words, a right. propaganda delivery system relentlessly pushing a liberal agenda? No, I wouldn't say that. Why not? MSNBC is attempting that. I think they're attempting. They've looked at your business model, and they've seen the success of it. And I think they're attempting to be a more activist organization. You don't think the New York Times is a liberal organization? Now, pushing a liberal agenda? Uh, the New York Times... No, I, I, I think that they are to a certain extent. Do I think they're relentlessly activist? No. In, okay. in, in, in a purely liberal partisan way? No, I don't. Right. I, I think this is, Fox is a I, I very the, special... The, the shutters to go from your eyes, because I am going to prove it to you in the oh. next few minutes. Oh, okay, then that, I don't, I'm excited about that. Well, here we go. Can I tell you this? I love to learn. Even you make yeah. fun of the fact that the New York Times and the Washington Post, when this document dump of 24,000 emails of Sarah Palin was right. released, and they got so excited about it, right. they asked their readers can help us go through these 24,000 documents. Right. How do you explain the fact that they would do that? They would ask their readers to help them go through the, e the Palin emails, mm -hmm. inconsequential as they turned out to be, right. but they never said, help us go through the 2,000 pages of the Obama health care bill. Because I think their bias is towards sensationalism and laziness. I wouldn't say it's towards a, a, a liberal agenda. It's a light fluff. So it's absolutely within the wheelhouse. I mean, if, if your suggestion is that they are uh, relentlessly partisan, then why haven't they gone uh, and backed away from Wiener? Now, they've, do they, they've, they've uh, uh, jumped into the Wiener pool uh, so uh, with such delight and such relish because the bias Some of the mainstream media... are indefensible. The, the bias of the mainstream media... Oh, I'm not saying it's defensible, but the bias of the mainstream media is towards sensationalism, conflict, and laziness. You yeah. take your own shot. Uh, yeah. Recently, you had Sarah Palin. You compared her video of her one bus, one nation bus tour to a certain commercial. Let's take a look. Valtrex. As the tour rolls on. Stopping at historic places like Gettysburg. And then to Philadelphia to see the Liberty Bell. You know what's cool, man? The way they had reporters finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> what have I seen that technique before? I have to Sarah Palin and a herpes drug, really? Yeah, that's a technique for the commercial. You don't. You, so you're saying that by comparing the technique that she used in her video to, to a, a technique used commercial, in her video, you were not making a political comment. You really think that's a political comment? Yes. You're insane. Really? Yeah. Here's the difference between you and I. I'm a comedian first. My comedy is informed by an ideological background. There's no question about that. But the thing that you will never understand, and the thing that in some respects conservative activists will never understand, is that 
Hollywood, yeah, they're liberal, but that's not their primary motivating force. I'm not an activist. I'm a comedian. All right, Bonner, thank you for saying that, because yeah. Baltimore Sun TV critic David Zurawick mm -hmm. put it up on the screen. It says, right. that is your dodge. Stewart is never held accountable in his right. media criticism, is he? When he is wrong, he goes into the tap dance of saying, okay. he's only a comedian no, and shouldn't be right. taken seriously. Well, let's talk about that. When did I say to you, I'm only a comedian? I said, I'm a comedian first. That's not only. Being a comedian is harder than what you do. What I do is much harder. I put material through a process, a comedic process. I don't just but you are a narrative. commentator. The comedy the has comedy a political... Some of it. You Here's your take on GOP uh, presidential candidate Herman Cain. That's why I'm going to only allow small bills. Pretty pay dues. We have had a recap on the dinner table. If I am president, treaties will have to fit on the back of a cereal box. From now on, the State of the Union address will be delivered in the form of a fortune cookie. I am Herman Cain, and I do not like to read. You, uh planning a remake of Amos and Andy? Why don't you show, do you want to show me doing all the voices for all the other people that we do? Do you want to see my New York voice? My Chinese guy voice? Are you suggesting that you and I are the same? Are you suggesting that, what am I at my highest aspiration and what are you at your highest aspiration? I think, Tell me. Honestly, honestly, I think you want to be a political player. You are wrong. You're dead wrong. We, you, I appreciate I appreciate what you're saying. Do I want my voice I, heard? Do I want my voice heard? Absolutely. That's why I got into comedy. Am I an activist in your mind? An ideological partisan activist? Yeah. Okay, then I disagree with you. You can't understand, because of the world you live in, that there is not a designed uh, ideological agenda on my part to affect partisan change, because that's the soup you swim in. And I appreciate that, and I understand it. It reminds me of, you know, uh, uh, you know, in ideological regimes, they can't understand that uh, there is free media other places because they receive marching orders. But how do you explain me? Think I get marching I think, orders? I think that you are here, in some respects, to uh, bring a credibility and an integrity to an organization that might not otherwise have it without your presence. So you, uh, you, well, you are here as a counterweight to Hannity, let's say, or you are here as a counterweight to Glenn Beck, because otherwise it's just pure talk radio and it doesn't establish the type of but political the, so play the, that it but wants the, so to be. Part, but, but I understand that. Wait, wait, wait. For you to just know, there are no, parts. No, no, this, this is important. No, this is... No. But you sound like Dick like like Cambridge during the CNN debate. Am I no. dodging you? The, Am I dodging you by you're, saying no, I'm just a comedian? Here is the question. Here is the question. And I think there are plenty of examples. Let me just give you another example All right. of, this isn't you, this is the mainstream media. Here's Diane Sawyer. All right. Diane Sawyer leading her program mm -hmm. last year announcing the new immigration law. Take a look. If a stranger walking down the street or riding the bus does not seem to be a U.S. citizen, is it all right for the police to stop and question him? Well, today the governor of Arizona signed a law that requires police to do just that. But that isn't what the law requires them to do. In fact, the law says the only way uh -huh. that you can stop somebody is in, as part of a lawful enforcement stop. You can't just say, hey, you're walking down the street exactly as she suggested. It has to be because there's a broken taillight or they're loitering or they're doing something else. Don't you think she should have mentioned that? Sure. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. I think we should have more full context and more... Uh, of the types of things that you're talking about. But I don't understand how that's purely a liberal or conservative bias. That's, like I said, sensationalist and somewhat lazy. But I don't understand how that's partisan. The embarrassment is that I'm given credibility in this world because of the disappointment that the public has in what the news media does. I don't think Not that, because I, don't I think, have an I don't ideological... Think, I don't think our that. viewers are the least bit disappointed with us. I think our viewers think, finally, right. they're getting somebody who tells the other side right. of the story. And one, in, and no, in no, 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 one more, who one is more the example. Most consistently misinformed media viewers. The most consistently misinformed Fox. Fox viewers. Consistently. Can, every poll. Can we talk about your network? <laughs> yes. Can we talk about Comedy yes. Central? Because. He's delighted to. Case in point. All right. How did you physically have sex with Tommy Lee? He has a huge 
next, we will ask our Sunday panel why the Democrats are missing in action when it comes to laying out a plan to deal with the nation's debt problem.